Hello friends, welcome back to Mycology Exploration, where we're just simply sharing what works for us, easy home mycology. Mycology is the study of fungi, and whether it's gourmet or medicinal mushrooms, we are simply sharing these how-to and tips with you, passing on just what we've learned. So through research and experimentation, we've learned a few things and we're just sharing them. So today I have the husband with me and we're gonna be creating these LCs, liquid culture and slurries. And we'll be transferring from these no pour jars. This is an MYA agar plate, dishes, no pour jars. Going into the LC is the smaller jar and then the slurries, the larger jars over there. And one tip I've been sharing is I use these paper towels and the armholes. So again, 91% alcohol. And I just refill this spray bottle here and I like to say it's self-cleaning. I spray, spray, spray. I have a video on this showing you. And then I put the paper towels in the armholes here. And I actually scoot the table against the wall so air is not getting in. No air in there or the least amount of air possible. <laughs> and then I have other dishes here that we just transferred. So this is what our little, little home mycology lab corner of the world looks like right before we jump in there. So I've already sprayed it. We'll have gloves on. We have X-Acto knives and we'll use the torch. So the husband will be sterilizing the tools here. And I use one for cutting the transfers. And then I'll be putting them in the LC and slurry. And the slurry is just like a giant agar dish at the bottom. And I'll do a video on that for you. We actually are using Willy, Willy's World. <laughs> his recipe for the slurries. It's the first time we've done slurries, so we'll let you know. But that's actually his recipe. And what I like to do is use something like this to actually cut the tiny transfers and slivers of the rhizomorphic mycelium on the leading edge, the outer part of this growth, this mycelium, and it looks like antlers or branches, as opposed to the tomatose growth, which is fluffy. So you're looking for the white antlers. And again, I like to use something like this. And then I use something like this to help me get it off of this one so that I can place it right in the center of the slurry dish. Now with the LCs, the liquid cultures, it doesn't matter, it's liquid, there's no agar in there. So I can just, you know, tap on the side. But I just think it's easier to use a little spatula to help you get it off without causing a mess or it bouncing. Because you really don't want the transfer to bounce on the agar plate. You want to get it right in the center. And you can tell some of mine are not in the center and that's okay, but it's just, it makes it easier. So again, many of you have had questions and requests to see things in real time and what it looks like. So this is what it looks like right before we do these transfers. And again, everything has been sanitized, sterilized, 91% alcohol. We'll be wearing gloves 
and there will be sterilization of the tools. And we'll keep you updated on what these LCs and slurries look like. Much love, friends.